Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV X360 laptop. The exact model for this ones are M6-AQ105DX. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up, how to repaste and clean up your laptop. If your laptop running a little bit hot and is over throttling, as these are Intel CPUs, as they heat up the speed on the clock hertz, it will go down. So, in order, you should be doing your maintenance, your service often every year, year and a half, or maximum every two years, depending on the usage that you give them. And it's really easy, it's not hard to do it. And I would say is to a certain point, it's safe to do it if you follow the instructions step by step. And this uh, method applied for any M6-AQ series laptop. So it doesn't have to be AQ105 and uh, exact. So any uh, AQ series, it will work just fine. All right, you're gonna need few tools. First thing first, you wanna power it off and flip it upside down. And the tools that you're gonna be needing, it's a, a tweezers, a straight tweezers or a curved one. And you will need a screwdriver set. I will highly recommend you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set. They include a pro version. I will leave the link in my video description that they include tweezers, opening tools, and everything you need. But if you're not, you can just grab the screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits because these are S2 class steel. You're going to be using Phillips number one and a torque number five. For the opening tool, if you don't get the pro version, you can grab any opening tool as a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening covers and plastics. So a guitar pick, one of them only. You will need a toothbrush, an old or new toothbrush. You will need your favorite thermal paste. You can grab an Arctic MX4, which are really good brand. But if you want to go a little crazy, you can go with a thermal grizzly cryonaut. Again, the links for these ones are in my video description. And you will need, most importantly, a workshop towel. I would recommend you to use a workshop towel. Do not use any fabric. And the most important one, again, that goes together is to clean it up is an alcohol. This is 95% plus isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic, whatever you want to call it. And that's it. With all this at hand, we can start doing our service. First thing first, you want to realize at the bottom, in one of your letter, you're going to have a rubber legs in here and in the front side. This one is missing because it already fall off because it's being held down by an ad adhesive. So if yours is still uh, in there, all you need to do is to grab your opening tool opening tool and you stick it right in between the rubber and lift it up so you can lift up the round rubber right there and on the other side by the hinges only you don't need to remove the front ones and there's a hidden screw right in there those are phillips screw so remove the phillips screw then you want to switch to a fork number five i'll put a little magnet beside it and remove the two in the back mid and four in the front end of the laptop. I also realized there's only one person of you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you guys want to support the channel, if you find my content helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel just by clicking that like button on the videos and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And it is a really great motivation for me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. All right, once the screws are all removed, all the silver screws are the same size and the black ones, again, they are the same size and height. With those removed, you want to grab your opening tool. You want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Now you want to twist it towards the screen. Do it every two centimeters or every centimeter, all the way the front end of the laptop, do it. Go to the corner, do the right side, all the way to the back corner, and left side again. Make sure you hit those clicks. 
once you did the sides and the front you want to do the back just take it all the way to the back of the grill and right there and open it up now you're gonna feel a tension right in the middle because there's a little hooks in there that there's a two hook that actually holds it from the case all you need to do grab it from the corners here and grab the bottom put your hand and just lift it up wiggle it around and it will just snap out and release these two or three triggers that's the bottom cover obviously you can go ahead and clean it up it's really dirty you can clean it up even wash it if you wish but leave it for it dry so you can clean it up with an alcohol if you wish i'm just going to do a roughly quick cleaning then i will have to open it up and do another cleaning to keep the video short clean up the back corner here where the air goes out the air goes out through here so you want to clean up all this mesh contact right there so the air can come through here out so clean the bottom cover and down here first thing first you want to remove the battery to remove the battery just pull this jack backward hold it from the corners and pull it back okay once you remove the jack, now we can proceed to removing the heat sink. You're going to switch to a Phillips number one, and we're going to release the screws for the heat sink. It has a little C lock on the screws, that means the screws will not completely entirely come out. You just have to loose them up. Pretty much just rotate like a six, seven turns. Six, seven turn and then just you can see it's already lifted up there's a screw right on the fan remove this screw remove the other chrome screw right over here now this cable for the lcd comes all around this fan so you want to just untangle it remove this tape right here untangle it bring it up and leave it like that and now you can remove this one here and you want to disconnect the fan cable right here the jack don't pull on the cable all you need to do put tweezers right at the end of the jack right here and pull it towards the fan and that way you can release this one i don't know if you guys saw that or no let me plug it in so you guys can see so what you need to do put this tweezer the ends right in here and pull it back so that way you don't put the tension on the cables now go ahead and lift it up and remove it under the cable and you can go ahead and clean up back there and you can dust it out with a vacuum cleaner or something and put the laptop to one side and we're gonna work on the heatsink to clean it up properly First, we're going to remove the excess of the thermal paste in there by applying a little bit of the alcohol on the towel and just grab it and rub it off. There we go. Now, we're going to remove the fan from here. To remove the fan, you need to grab a Phillips triple zero or double zero. I'll go with a double zero. We're gonna remove one, two, three screws. Once you remove the three screws, the fan should come out pretty easy. Just lift it up from here and release it. And you can see the really tiny Puniza I-Core 7, but the fan ventilation is really small. And that little dirt in there dust, it really overheats it up so and you can just grab it evenly the fan pull it out and you see that it's bone dry in the middle there should be a little oil in there but it's dry so we can go ahead and clean it up nicely with a toothbrush just brush it off brush it off make sure you remove all the dust in here and clean it up with an alcohol clean up the contact everything i'm just going to clean it up and i'll be back
All right, now that I cleaned up the fan system, the everything, we're gonna clean up really detail cleaning the fan. I'm gonna show you guys how to do detail cleaning of the fan. You're gonna grab an alcohol, you're gonna spray on the corner of the towel, and gently you wanna stick this one right in there, not with too much pressure, and just wanna go around and around in there, just twist, twist, and you wanna remove the extra excess of dirt in there. Make sure it's nice and clean. You see that dirt right there? You wanna clean it up nicely. The middle pan, real nice. Make sure that there's no more dirt in there. Now you wanna grab a lubricant. I use a three-in-one uh, lubricant. And you wanna add a tiny drop right in the middle, right in here, one or two drops. You don't wanna add extra. If you have extra, just pull it out. Just suck it back in there. Right there. And now what you want to do, just grab the fan, place it on top, and squeeze it and just do a few turns back and forward. Let it lubricate and pick it up, drop it again in there. So it can actually soak in nicely. That's how you do your own proper way of servicing your fan. And then you want to place it right in there. Flip it upside down, make sure the screw holes match. And you wanna stop putting the three screws that you removed from top here. Make sure the heat pipe stays straight, it's not bended or anything like that. All right, once we're done with this, uh, we gotta clean up the uh, heat, the CPU, just grab a, Clean a portion of this one and just run over the CPU and just clean it up. Grab your thermal paste, just put a one drop right on the die, one right, a tiny line on the other one. All right, next is to grab the fan, put down the one under the cable right here, run the cable around it. Bring it over, align, and make sure it stays right there. Then grab your Phillips number one, hold it down, and then screw them. Always cross screw them. So I did two and then one. You can do one, two, three, four, or just cross screw them. Now we're gonna start running the cable for the LCD around the fan. Just Manage it right in there, zigzagging right around, so you don't have to disconnect it. If you want to disconnect it, just lift up this jack and pull out the cable. It's really easy. Grab the fan for uh, fan cable and just slide it right into the jack, and that should be all. Now all you need to do is to put back down the battery, grab it evenly, make sure it's evenly right in there, and squeeze it right through the contact. Make sure it goes all the way in. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover, bring it over and put it down. Just press it down real hard the corners. Make sure you hear that click, go to the back corner, click, click in the corners. If you see any opening, just pinch it between the top and the bottom cover. And in the middle, press it right over here. You should hear those two clicks. And the last thing down here would be to uh, I did forget to put the two screws for the fan, so I will have to open up and put the two screws for the fan. We are going to put the two screws for the fan, one right over here. And one right over here. Then we're going to close it down. And we squeeze the corners, the back, the back middle, and right by the battery. The last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws, put them in, and put the rubber legs on top of the black screws, and you should be all set to go. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out to do your own service and maintenance. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or requests, again, feel free to leave them in a video comment. 
always try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up 